In 20 BBY, Anakin returned to the Jedi Council on Coruscant after participating in a deadly battle on the planet Rendili to give a testimony to the Jedi on the actions of suspicious member Quinlan Vos. But, not being a master, Anakin was excused while the Council further deliberated, and with his time freed and his fellow Jedi preoccupied, Anakin travelled to the Senate building to meet with his wife Padme in secret. However, he was instead greeted by one of her personal handmaidens who explained that Padme was occupied with political business and instead left him a holodisc message. As to not get caught, Anakin hopped onto a speeder and headed to Coruscant's underlevels for privacy. He stopped his speeder atop a building under construction and opened the message, listening to it which was a reiteration of Padme's love for him, despite the fact they were both so busy with services to the Republic. However, the hollow disc was ripped from his hands and flew over to a hairless, tattooed woman. It was Asajj Ventress. Little did he know, Ventress had been tailing him since he'd left the Senate building, after finding her original targets, Obi-Wan and Quinlan Vos, unattainable, locked away within the Jedi Temple. She listened to the holodisc with sadistic glee in discovering Anakin's relationship with Padme, and taunted the young Jedi, threatening the Senator's life. Anakin ignited his lightsaber, intent on ending her life instead, and violently jumped towards Asajj, who ignited her own. The two engaged in an intense duel to the death across a construction beam connecting two buildings, but Asajj ran further in and hid with Anakin in hot pursuit. As Anakin peered in, she jumped from the shadows over him, slicing across his face with the tip of her blade. She continued to taunt the young Jedi, claiming him powerless, but he turned his head, visibly enraged with a now cauterized vertical scarring above and below his right eye. With a visible intensity, Anakin's anger took hold and he charged Ventress with the unwavering power of the Chosen One that she simply could not contend with each strike burning through her muscles, shattering her defences. Anakin then attacked her with a powerful kick to the chest, knocking her into the air, and her lightsabers fell from the building. Now defenceless completely and falling backwards, Anakin used the force to entangle Asajj within electrical cables and began to torture her, electrifying her repeatedly. Ventress screamed in agony as wires squeezed her body and burned her insides, but she managed a moment to taunt Anakin once more, about his use of the dark side and how he wasn't acting much like a Jedi. Anakin looked into the Sith's eyes, silent as she screamed in agony. Was this right? This wasn't the Jedi way, but he knew what he was doing was to save Padme. Anakin squeezed his grip once more, tightening the cables further, and then he suddenly let go, watching her plummet into the chaotic metropolitan abyss, hopefully to never be seen again. After his fight with Asajj, Anakin travelled to meet Chancellor Palpatine of all people, donning a mark that would remain forever, now further opened to the temptations of the dark side and the tragic future that lie in his weight. This video was voted for by my Patreon, so thank you to them, and if you're interested in choosing topics for future videos, consider taking a look at my Patreon page where you can gain access to the monthly poll for as little as $1. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, especially the notification bell if you'd like to see more. Also come and follow me on my social media, join the Discord server, all of the links are in the description below, and I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, may the Force be with you, always.